I think one of the um, emerging concerns definitely with bias with antibodies in general is the risk for infection. I think we're seeing this as a class of drugs with bias with antibodies. And I think as a field, there's a lot still more to learn of how we can optimize infection surveillance and infection mitigation strategies. And I think, there, I think this will improve with time. And so um, one of the important things is, you know, uh, potentially screening for infections uh, when a patient gets started on a bispecific antibody. And so certainly, you know, one would want to screen for things like hepatitis B to make sure they're not seropositive, for instance, and you need hepatitis B prophylaxis. Uh, there's other sort of um, emerging sort of areas that we may potentially um, screen for, like for instance, CMV uh, at baseline. But then, you know, once a patient is on a bispecific antibody, uh, infection prophylaxis strategy. So making sure that patients on varicella zoster uh, uh, prophylaxis with acyclovir, valacyclovir, uh, making sure that patients on PGP prophylaxis uh, to prevent PGP pneumonia are important as well. Uh, and vaccination, even though vaccination responses may be blunted in patients getting bispecific antibodies, it's still important to be up to date on the influenza vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, uh, and then IVIG support. So we know that hypogammaglobinemia is frequently seen in patients getting bispecific antibodies. So if the IVIG level gets to less than 400, for instance, to potentially get prophylactic IVIG to help mitigate the risk of infection. So these are things to do sort of uh, in patients getting bispecific antibodies. I think moving forward also, important thing to look at is um, perhaps doing fixed duration dosing of bispecific. So instead, you know, when a patient achieves a very deep response, MRD negative, they need to continue on the bispecific antibody forever until progression, or can we potentially stop treatment at some point? Because they've already maximized, they've had a, a nice response to therapy, hopefully that'll be durable, and now we need to mitigate potential toxicity with infection. So either less frequent dosing or fixed duration dosing in a response-adapted approach, I think is, is also something to explore as well.